Hello YouTube, CinemaBman here, and today I shall be doing a DVD update on another segment of Sean's DVD collection, and it has actually been more than a year since I did my last DVD update. And I apologise for what I've done, mainly it's because life sort of got in the way, you know, with some big changes, and I haven't been able to do a DVD update, so... Here's things that I got in uh, September 2011, all the way up to Christmas 2011, and then on my 18th birthday, and etc. So I'm going to rush through these. And now, I had a couple of um, WX Smith vouchers, and I thought I'd sort of spend them on something, because I had like, I don't know, 30 or 40, and I got for £9. Speed Racer, and I had to go in to WH Smith through the Manchester Arndale, because at the time, Manchester was sort of recuperating after the London riots, and the entrance to WH Smith was sort of, it got damaged, and it was all boarded up. And anyways, back to the Speed Racer, the picture quality on this was really good, and it was a shame that it didn't have a HD soundtrack, and if you can tell from there, the a part of the E in Racer has been ripped off, mainly because it was like £9, the price tag was on there, and it sort of ripped off some of the clip cover, but... I'm fine with it. <coughs> and if you can see there, maybe the because the camera's too bright, but <coughs> I coloured in the E with a uh, a worn out felt tip pen. So if I I'm gonna open this up, that's just the disc. All right. There's the disc, and that's just a uh, pamphlet to the Blu-ray. It's on the left-hand side. So. And over the course of Summer 2011, I was, I've really been getting into this show, and it's Benidorm, season one, and it's sort of about a group of holiday makers that all come from different parts of England and they unite in this resort in Spain, this all-inclusive resort. You have a 35-year-old bloke that still lives with his mother, a family with a pregnant daughter and a lazy, profane aunt. And you also have a gay couple and a posh couple. And this is actually a really good show. I doubt they'll have it in America, on BBC America, but <coughs> if it comes to America, you should definitely check it out. And the next one I have is Airplane, the Special Collector's Edition. And this has sort of a very good feature in which you can play the film and then something will pop up and if you click on it it will go towards an interview, a making of, or a deleted scene. So, I recommend getting this. It's a classic film. <coughs> Next up is one of my brothers, Kevin and Perry Go Large. Never watched it, but my brother says it's great so I'll take his word for it. Bronx Tale. Robert De Niro's debut, his directorial debut, in fact, and I've watched this on BBC One, and it was, it's basically about <coughs> this kid that lives on the same street as this gangster, and he gets sucked up into his lifestyle, and Robert De Niro, who plays his dad, who's like this bus driver that works minimum wage, sort of tries to talk him out of it. So, this is sort of a good film. 
Go Pesky make the cameo at the end of it. <laughs> um, here's the disc. Also, there's a little book. Yeah, so if you're a big fan of gangster films, Check that out. <laughs> okay, the next I have is <coughs> Pirates of the Caribbean 4 on Stranger Tides, and it's the Blu ray 3D version with the Lens 64 slip case. Now, I unboxed this for YouTube, and what I find, like, the day after I got it, I realised the American Blu ray actually has another disc with features, and I'll read out, here's what you get in the UK Blu-ray 3D of Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Disc 1, Blu-ray 3D feature film, Disc 2, Blu-ray feature film and bonus, Stories of the Caribbean, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean short, audio commentary by director Rob Marshall and executive producer John DeLuca. Discover Blu-ray 3D with Timon and Pumba. And this free is a digital copy of the film. Now, for all you Americans that have a Blu-ray copy of Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Time, you know that there's an extra disc that comes along with it, with deleted scenes, outtakes, the whole shebang. But Disney really screwed us over and gave us nothing. I paid twenty four ninety nine for this in HMB. So well at least and I did enjoy the film but please don't screw us with this one Disney, really. And, <coughs> anyways, I did have, I did get phone booth from Entertainment Exchange, but I can't find it, because I have a load of DVDs, and I sort of need to get through them. So, all I have to say is, good DVD, didn't watch commentary, watched the film, very great, could have been a bit longer, but overall, very good. Now, I'm going to bend down and just uh, get the next batch of DVDs, so stick around for part two. <laughs>